Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to a uh, former priest goes to Hajj. I've seen the video recently, like it's trending, so let's check it out. So I've been a priest for 15 years now, leader of the congregation, the Corinthian Church of South Africa. It has got about 100,000 followers until I had a dream. I was sleeping and I'm hearing this voice. I was sleeping in the church. It's a small room, a small piece of room. Then I heard this voice. It says, tell your men to wear white kutas. Kutas. I said, oh, Muslim, Muslim head. Then I said, ah, it's just a dream. He came again and again. And the last time, this voice became aggressive now. Tell your men. Then I went, it was a congregation. I said, now I'm going to these people, I'm going to tell them, let them believe. Then I went there. Then I told them, you know how, we, how Allah made it easy? They just accepted all of them then when the next meeting came on the next congregation everyone was wearing it white quarters and all those they accepted they accepted three months ago i made the shahada in the church and they were supporting what i was saying they were also saying it those thousand voices saying one giving the shahada with me I the video. We were happy. Then I saw Muslim brothers coming. I said, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. I had a dream that you'll, you'll come here. When they told me you are going to Hajj, I said, oh, me? <laughs> I can't go there. I won't go there. And when the day came, they say you are leaving. I said, leaving away. You must be joking. This is not happening. It can't happen. Peace be, be upon him, Mohammed. When we went up here, he was alone. I will follow the footsteps. And I believe by following these footsteps, millions of my people in South Africa would follow these footsteps to see the light. This is the mountain of light. I am the first one in my family to touch here this soil, this blessed soil, the mountain of light. light. Yes. From this the mountain started the light of Islam. That's why I brought you here. Hey, I'm shaking. Shaking? Hey, I'm shaking. I want to go up there. You want? Yeah. It's hard. No, ah, nothing is hard. When you have that heart, nothing is hard. In the name of Allah, nothing is hard. He make it easy for me. I'm happy for that, to feel the hajj. I am so happy and lucky to be given that chance while I'm still here, because there's no chance there. He is the light. 
He is our light. He is my light. He is the, he's the light of this world. Let his light shine all over the world. And he forgives us all our sins. <laughs> Guy, he said, when you have that heart, nothing is hard. Like, that got to me, like, when you have that heart, nothing is hard. <laughs> and I love the fact he said, he receives every physician, he should tell his people to wear the cup, like Muslims. And, but the part I don't get is the revelation doesn't say he should convert. I'm not saying he converting is wrong, but what he said, the revelation said he should wear the heart. So I I really don't understand. I feel I don't understand the revelation, and maybe because this is a short video and it just clips, so I didn't get the chance to actually hear his explanation of his dream or something like that. So can I come to the end of the video, guys? But Nothing is hard. Like, th guys, that thing he said actually got to me. Like, it got to me, guys. I think I'm going to use it as a quote in my next post or something like that. But guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.